In this video, I'm gonna have you step behind the scenes with me in this two light photo setup and how we turn my white backdrop into an orange backdrop using one light and some gels. Let's go. Hey guys, it's Ray Alvarez and I'm back. I had to take a step back. The holidays creeped up on us. We also took some time off to dedicate to ourselves and our little family. I filmed a lot of good videos and have been working really, really hard as of late. I've taken out some time to work on some marketing, some ideas that I had, and also finalizing the design of a few upcoming workshops I have here in Orlando. I've listed my most recent workshop that I have coming up in a few days in the description below. So before we get into this video, I wanted to quickly touch on a topic that I've seen has made itself within the photo industry and it went a little viral. One of the biggest reasons that I had to take a step back is because I'm a working photographer. I'm out here working just like you. I'm out here trying to get clients and fulfilling my duties as a photographer just like you are. You might think that I have a big production team or that I have a squad or something working for me and that's not entirely true. I do have some friends and I do have some people that I can count on and that handle certain tasks for me. But other than that, this is a one man band and I do a lot of it by myself. Not only am I a family man with a wife and kids, but I'm also a provider for my family. I'm a working full-time photographer. Every single day I'm putting in hard work and effort running several businesses just like this one. But lately, I've noticed photographers coming to their senses and realizing that they look up to certain educators who talk the talk, but don't walk the walk. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with not working the field anymore and just educating about it. But I just wanted to give some transparency and show you guys that at the end of the day, I'm sitting here giving you guys educational videos on lighting, creativity, and other topics. But at the same time, I'm a working full-time photographer, just like you. So let's get started with this shoot that we did with Taylor K and local makeup artist, my wife and my business partner, K Alvarez. So on screen, you're seeing Taylor K standing there, we're testing, we're doing what we always do, test the shot, build the light. I just finished setting up the lights in the backdrop and I'm testing out my lighting and camera settings, making sure everything is in sync and coming out the way I intended to. My intention was to use the white backdrop. However, once I started implementing some gels on my lights, I ended up falling in love with the warm orange tones. I feel they made a huge difference and it made her pop away from the backdrop. Going with the white, I felt things were just a little bit bland and boring and the orange just gave it more of a fun feeling. Now, for those of you who know me, you guys know that both Kay and I love, love, love beauty portraits. And it's just something that we truly enjoy. So with that, we're focusing on Taylor's upper portion of her body. And being that she has nippies on and double-sided tape to secure the jacket to the body, I'm making sure that during this quick test that she's in frame and of course that we wouldn't have any nip slips. <laughs> Ninety seven percent of the time I'm using a reflector when it comes to my beauty shoots. So during this testing, I'm making sure that we're reflecting really, really well. For this shoot, we went with a two light setup. The main light was a 400 watt strobe and it's positioned in front of both Taylor and I. I'm modifying the main light with a 48 inch softbox facing the reflector straight downward. So that way the light is bouncing off of the reflector and into Taylor's chin area. which the light that is reflecting is also canceling out majority of the shadows in the facial area. Now with the light facing straight downward, it's not facing her directly. So she's receiving feathered light. She's receiving the outer edge. Now for the second light, I'm using a 200 watt strobe modified with a 24 inch softbox. I'm using the CTO gel, but I'm going to use two because I want that orange to be a bit deeper. 
This will give me a nice, warm, and punchy orange. <laughs> punchy orange. Wow. The light combined with the gel will transform the white behind her into a nice, punchy orange. Another reason why I decided to change the background to go from white to orange is because the shades and the perfume bottle that she's holding both looked way better with this color behind her. I think it complemented the entire set well. The entire shoot took about 15 minutes without testing included. The setup of the lighting was about 12 minutes. Taylor did great with the posing, especially when she featured all of the products that she had, like the perfume and the shades. Kay did incredible on the makeup, which by the way, she just launched her own channel. So if you wanted to show her some love, support her, go ahead and visit her channel, throw some love in the comments and in her videos. And if you're into makeup, subscribe to her channel too. But don't forget to do the same thing for me. <laughs> Look, by you simply liking and commenting on my videos, it helps boost my videos into the YouTube world so more photographers just like you can watch them. So don't forget to like and comment. And if you're new here, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, go ahead, go do that. I'm glad you're here. Tap that bell button so you get notified every single time I make a new video just for you. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>